Oral candidiasis, more commonly known as thrush, is a yeast-like fungal infection of the oral cavity. It is most common in infants and young children, but is also seen in children who are immunosuppressed as a result of illness or medications. Thrush can also spread down the gastrointestinal and respiratory tracts. You'd suspect thrush when an infant has white patches on the tongue, palate, and inside of the cheeks. These patches adhere to the mucous membranes. To distinguish thrush from coagulated formula or milk, gently try to scrape the patches from the oral surfaces. Thrush lesions are difficult to remove and might bleed when scraped. Thrush is often a result of antibiotic therapy decreasing the protective flora of the oral cavity. It is spread by caregivers who haven't followed good hand washing techniques after handling an infected child. Oral candidiasis is generally a self-limiting disorder, but it can take up to eight weeks to resolve. The priority for care is to prevent transmission of the infection. When caring for a child who has thrush, you'd pay close attention to hygiene and administer an antifungal as prescribed. The most common treatment is oral nystatin, trade name mycostatin, one milliliter applied topically throughout the oral cavity every six hours after feedings. Swallowing the nystatin treats any candidiasis in the throat, stomach, and intestines. Treatment should be continued for a few days after resolution of the oral lesions. Your teaching includes treatment or removal of the source of the infection. That sometimes means treating a breastfeeding mother's nipples. It is not necessary to discontinue breastfeeding, but if the mother's nipples have candidal growth, she might have to stop due to discomfort. When breastfeeding is temporarily discontinued, it is important to either pump the affected breast or breasts to continue milk flow, or to express the milk manually from the affected side. Instruct parents to follow feedings with water or by rinsing the child's mouth. Make sure they are boiling pacifiers and the nipples they use for the bottle feedings for 20 minutes. Remember, meticulous hygiene is the best way to prevent and limit this infection.